Hello, I'm Philip Brunel, Artistic Director and Founder of Vocal Essence and Organist Choir Master at Plymouth Congregational Church in Minneapolis. So each day I have selected a different composer to feature and today it is the American composer Calvin Hampton. Born in 1938, passed away in 1984. For many years he was the organist at Calvary Episcopal Church in New York City and he was an amazing organist. He loved not only to play the standard repertoire, but he loved, for instance, he did his own organ transcription of pictures at an exhibition, which was stunning to listen to. He also, at Calvary, for about, I'm going to say 10 or 12 years, had a series called Fridays at Midnight, which was packed every Friday for an organ recital at midnight that Calvin played. I met him in the 1970s and knew about some of his anthems and also the fact that he had composed a number of hymn tunes. And I'm gonna play two of the hymn tunes. They're great tunes. I wish that more people knew them and would sing them because they're, they're a little tricky, but they're delightful to hear and wonderful to sing. This is his setting of Let All the World in every corner sing, the words of George Herbert. So the melody is just this. That's fine, but it's his accompaniment while you're singing that that makes it really delightful. Sort of like that at the end. Anyway, he also composed another wonderful tune, which I, again, wish we all sang, and that is his tune for My Country Tis of Thee. And there's nothing wrong, of course, with it. Uh, uh, but listen to what Calvin did, his wonderful tune. It's great. So all of those are in a book that he published that was called the Calvin Hampton Hymnary. Some wonderful, wonderful tunes. He also did a version uh, for, uh, this was typical of what he did at Calvary Church, a version of All Glory, Laud, and Honor. And I love his, his directions for us. The, Choir and clergy process either silently or to organ music. Uh, after the blessing of the palms, the choir sings the anthem while the palms are distributed to the congregation. Then all glory, laud, and honor begins. And a second procession 
perhaps including the congregation, may take place with everyone moving around the interior of the sanctuary or moving out of doors by a rear exit and coming back inside through the main doors, in which case it would be better if the organist played some other festival music until the procession reappeared at the front doors. That would be Calvin. Here is what he did with all glory, God, and honor. You had the familiar melody, of course. So while the organ is playing that, the choir is singing a joyful la 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 all the way through. So you get. through. It's wonderful music. He also devised on Christmas Eve at Calvary Church a star that appeared in the back balcony on some kind of a rope and at the appropriate time made a zoom down to the front of the sanctuary. That would be Calvin. He came here to Plymouth Church in um, the 1980s did a wonderful recital, but what I do remember about the recital is that he arrived and had forgotten his shoes. So he thought he'd have to play it in his tennis shoes, but we did find him some shoes so he didn't have to. And in 1980 at the American Guild of Organists convention here, he did a great recital at Northrop Auditorium where he played the César Franck symphony that he had transcribed for organ a wonderful man, a very talented organist, and a delightful person. In 1981, I commissioned him to write a piece for Palm Sunday for Plymouth Church. He did the words of Fortunatus, and it was the text, Sing My Tongue, The Glorious Battle. And in the third movement is that text, Faithful Cross, above all other, one and only noble tree. It's a beautiful movement for the choir. So you hear this. Music of Calvin Hampton. Have a wonderful day.